so you're getting ready to take the FE exam, the Fundamentals of Engineering. What do you need to do to prepare for that? Number one, the main thing is just work all the sample problems that you can get your hands on, okay? Now remember, the test now is discipline specific. There's an ME test, there's a civil test, there's an electrical test. And from what I understand, this is 2023, um, at least here in Texas now, I'm familiar with Texas. If they go down and take the exam during the week, any day, there's a testing center here in town that's NCEES approved. The National Council of Engineering Exam, exam uh, Examination, I don't remember what it stands for anyway, but NCES, NCEES.org, that's where you go to sign up for the test. And um, that you take the test in, anytime during the week during the, at the testing center, and you'll get your results the following Wednesday. They, the results come out every Wednesday, at least here in Texas they do. Um, things that you'll need. Number one, you'll need to look at the calculator list. You have to use an FE approved calculator. Again, I totally recommend the TI 36 Pro. It's the best, I think. The Casio FX 115 ES Plus is also a good calculator. I don't think it's as easy to use as the 36 Pro. This is a super easy to use calculator. Uh, I've got some uh, videos on how to do simple things like uh, integrals, equation solvers, um, the polynomial equation is on here, uh, system solver, two equations or three equations, three unknowns, uh, all of that kind of stuff you can do, um, cross product matrices, all that kind of stuff on this calculator, it's really easy. And I've got some videos on the channel to show you that. I'm also going to include some videos on the channel how to use the Casio FX115, so if you've got that calculator, I'll have some tutorial videos there to show you how to use that calculator uh, as well. Now, in addition to your calculator, and just working lots and lots of problems, where do I find these problems? Well, number one, I'm going to try and put as many problems as I can here on this channel. Hopefully hundreds, um, hundreds of problems. So the mo more you can practice, the better off you're going to be, okay? The best book, I think, for your money is this book right here. It's by Lindeberg, and it is the FE Review Manual. It's a thick book, right? The FE Review Manual by Lindeberg. I'm going to leave a link in the description. I've got two books here. I'm going to leave the link in the description for both these books where you can get them on Amazon. Um, I think this one's about $75, $80, but it's worth the money. It has practice tests in the back of it. If you go through this, you can pass the test. So, I mean, you're, it's like a 98% pass rate. Okay, so that's this has lots of problems, and it's broken up on the side here, you can see, by subject matter. There's In this one, it has a math, statics, dynamics, mechanics of materials or solids, fluids, thermo, uh, biology, chemistry, which is not on the test anymore, uh, material science, circuits, computers, economics, and ethics. Okay, so um, anyway, a really good manual, and I'm going to try and put as many of these problems as I can on this channel so you can practice with me, okay, and I'll solve them for you. The other thing that's absolutely imperative for you to get, and you need to go get this now, okay, before you start taking the test, you need to go get this. This is the FE Reference Handbook, okay. Now, this one says, right, 9.3 version for computer-based testing. The, the, the test used to be a, a, te a written test, and you'd go in and you'd have this book, and you could look stuff up, and you could whatever, use this book. You will have access to this book on the exam, okay? So everything that's in this book, you can use on the exam. There's a lot of stuff in here, but one of the things that I want you to do is get familiar with where stuff is in this book. Now, when you go to take the exam, it's online, okay? It's not a, a, a paperback book. It's a searchable book, right? So it's on the computer and you have to search it. So you need to know kind of what the terms are that you're searching for, like how to spell it. I mean, if you're looking for Euler's equation, right? And you put in O-I-L, you're not going to find it. It's E-U-L, right? So you need to know those kinds of things so you're familiar with um, the names and where to find those things so that you can find them. It's this exact book, except it's an online format and it's searchable. So you can type in a term and it'll go find it. But things like, and like for economics, right, all of the tax tables are in here. And that's something that you would have to look up. Bernoulli's equation, I can't remember that. 
It's in here, right? Uh, the centroid table for statics. It's in here. Um, you know, lots of tables for um, for solid mechanics. There's tons of equations in solid mechanics. Um, anyway, get from and there's a lot of the ethics stuff. There's a, only a couple of pages for ethics, uh, but a lot of the questions, especially about licensure, are directly out of this book. So I want you to become familiar with this book before you go down and take the test. So that when you take the test, you're like, oh, I know where to find that. That's I saw that. I remember that. It's right after the section on blah, 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 whatever it is, right? So go get you one of these. Again, I'll leave you the, the link in the description. I think these are about $25 or $30, so a lot cheaper. But this is the um, FE Reference Handbook. And this is also just handy to have on your shelf as an engineer to refer to because any subject, the, this is like Cliff's Notes. I don't know if y'all remember Cliff's Notes from the 80s back when I was a kid. But anyway, this has... You know, every topic, all the equations broken down just into, like, here's the stuff that you really need to know in one book for engineering. There's all of engineering in this book. Okay, so go get this book while you're practicing. Get familiar with this book. Work as many practice problems as you can. Watch the videos here. Push pause. Work along with me. You do that, you pass the test. I'll bet you, I'll bet you lunch, okay? All right, I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time here on the channel.